Hey guys, it is me, Blackman, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so what's good, y'all? Um, today we're going to be doing something a little different. It's not completely different from something that I've done before on my channel. A few years ago, I did a Can I For Can Foresee Hair Wash and Go. That was interesting. It did not turn out the way that I wanted it to, but it was okay. I have since then kind of perfected like my wash and go and it actually turns out pretty decent. But today I'm about to turn it on its head because I'm trying two different products. So usually when I do my wash and go, I just use my Eco Styler olive oil gel and my Shea Moisture coconut hibiscus curl and smoothie. I don't know why I'm dancing, but that's what I usually use. And my wash and goes turn so they turn out fine, but today we're doing something a little different because I have two new products. I'm going to be using this baby right here, which is the main and the main choice Crystal Orchard Bio Biotin Infused Styling Gel. That's a mouthful. And then I'm also going to be using the Aunt Jackie's Curl La La Defining Curl Crossfit. I have never used either one of these before. So I've already washed and conditioned my hair. To wash my hair, I used the Raw Shea Butter Moisture Retention Shampoo. This one right here. And then I used my Shea Moisture Super Pro Complex Tinted One Renewal System Hair Mask. This is my go-to. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, which I know some of you, a lot of you are new. A lot of you are new, so like you don't know that, but that's my go-to hair mask. Like Nothing's better than that for me as a deep conditioner. So we're gonna jump into it. My hair is already detangled and sectioned off. And we're just gonna start this bit. So I'm gonna take this down. My hair might get in the way, so I might need a ponytail for it. This is my hair. I actually just trimmed it because I do that every time I wash it. So my hair comes to about right here. It's like right at armpit length. It was a little bit longer before I trimmed it, but So I'm going to go ahead and spray this and wet it because even though I just washed it, uh, it's been sitting here for a little bit so it's not super like wet anymore. And there we go. Ooh. Now the moment is true. So this is like a first impressions kind of video. Because um, I've never done this before. So I'm going to use the Curl Lala. It smells so good, guys. So I'm going to get a little bit of this on my fingers. Because I've learned with products that I'm kind of heavy handed. And sometimes a little goes a long way. And I don't like, like the residue. I don't like having to wait on it to like dry down and all of that. I like to do my wash and goes and go. I don't diffuse or any of that. So right now, I'm not really seeing anything. Like my hair was already having this definition before I put product in. So let me try to put a little bit more. Because if this is a fail from like the first section, I'm not going to continue it. I'm just going to go ahead and switch over to my regular products because I am going somewhere today. So I don't really have time to have a shitty wash and go. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead. It's okay, I'm not, I'm not wild by this so far, but I'm gonna go ahead and get into the gel part of it, which is the main and so this is actually not a full thing. My friend used it and hated it. So she just gave me the remainder of hers to try out to see if I like it. So I'm just applying a little bit and once again pulling it through because that'll help define your coils or your curls, your coils, your curls, whatever. Um, I don't want to 
reviews too much because I don't know if it's flaky. I've not even watched any reviews on either one of these products, so I'm really trying it right now. So this is how it's looking. I don't feel like mine usually looks like this. I, I'm not going to say it's like a bad situation, but I'm going to put some more of this gel on here and see if that does anything. I'm not loving this. We just, we're gonna try the next section. It smells so good. That shit it smells wonderful. So this side has way more definition, but this side is a different texture than the other side. You can see that just right off the bat. So this might only work for my looser textures because I, I claim 4C, but the truth is I have 4C, 4A, and 4B in my head. It's just kind of a clusterfuck of curls. So anyway, now I'm putting the main toy, uh, the main tail, whatever it is. That shit, the gel on it. That's a little better. All right, so now I'm gonna just jump through and I'll come back once I get to like the front of my hair. Okay, so we're at the last section now. That was actually quick, I did this in like five minutes. But anyway, um, I'm gonna give y'all my thoughts and opinions momentarily. We're at the last section, so I always tend to do like a slight side part. I always do this, and kind of pin that part back. So, I'm gonna go ahead and wet these sections up. Do the curl, the curl a lot. I don't mean to keep saying curls, because it isn't curls. That's a completely different brand. I don't want to confuse y'all, but the curl, la la, and the planet. Um, I do have some residue, which I don't like when I'm doing wash and go. I like to use the product, and it just kind of like absorbs right into my hair. But with these products, especially the curl la la, I have to use more of it than I would my curl and Hanson smoothie because. Honestly, it just seems like it takes more in order to actually define my hair, which, you know, we'll get to that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna shake, because if you are, nat are natural, then you know, half the definition comes from shaking like it just for some reason helps like it helps to really define it all so as you can see I've shook it now and the curls have definitely popped more for sure it has a lot of movement but my hair is definitely still wet right now so that isn't really an exact you know it's not really telling me much but anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and pin this down. I guess I'll keep recording while I do that. Uh, I just use some bobby pins and a handy dandy brush. And I'm not gonna use the main tail gel for this. I'm gonna use my Eco Styler to lay down my, um, not my edges, cause I don't know how to do that. Y'all YouTubers be fucking it up with these edges and I be like, can't relate. If anybody can like recommend a video for us 4C girls to use to like um, ladies edges, like actually do like the cute swoops and stuff, comment down below, okay? Because it's a struggle. Every 4C girl that I personally know cannot lay their edges. But anyway, so this is the finished product. It'll dry and shrink, of course. Um, I guess I'll come back when I'm like completely, like it's completely dry. But I'll go ahead and like, in case I forget, cause I'm me, I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all my opinion on the products now. Um, when it comes to the Curl La La, I actually think that I like, I like it and I think that it will be like, 
probably really good for twist out simply because it did really help to define my hair and I think that because it uses so you have I have to use so much product like so much of it to like get it to actually define my hair I think it will be better suited if I use it in a twist out but Sorry. But even with that being said, I do like it. I still personally think that my go-to is more effective in getting my hair to just kind of curl up. But this is like nice. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna front. These are some nice 4C coils, okay? Like it, it, it did it. I like it. Um, so yeah, so I really like that. I would recommend it to 4C girls. I would just say don't use it if you're about to walk out the house because you're going to need more of this than you would some other products so you're going to have like that white residue that won't go away right away you're going to have to give it some time to like absorb in your hair and as far as this gel now it has great slip wonderful slip only thing that i don't like about it is it's like a jelly consistency so it does this i'm not used to my gel really doing this as you can see it's like dripping and as I was like going in to get some to put on my hair it was kind of flying all over my sink and stuff so that's not <clears throat> ideal for me but I do like the gel I won't be able to give you guys a real honest review on the gel until it dries because I don't know if it's gonna flake if it flakes we gonna fight because I got somewhere to go today but so basically I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry out I mean dry up not dry out. I pray that it doesn't dry out. I'm going to go ahead and let this dry up and absorb. And then I'll come back in like an hour or two to give you guys my final thoughts and updates. But I'm going to go ahead and try to give you guys a little bit of a close up. Since I am using my iPhone camera, the quality isn't pristine. But I think it's, like, I think this is a pretty decent washing up. okay so this is it it's still a little wet right here so it might be a little white let me kind of pull this so you it's not blocking but so this is how it looks as you can see it's a little bit of white residue left just because it's still wet that's literally but i'm about to get in the shower and get ready to go where i'm about to go so i wanted to give you guys my final kind of look see at it and my final thoughts so, with that being said, this is it. This is the end result. I actually really like it. I think it turned out pretty good. Like, my other twist outs look similar to this. So, I think it's like, it's good. Like, I like it. This is a nice little combo. <coughs> I don't know how long it's going to last. Usually, my twist outs last between like a day. Uh, no, between like two to three to four days. So, we'll see how long this one lasts. Did I say to myself, I meant wash and go. So yeah, so it looks nice. I'm happy with it. Uh, it definitely has some shrinkage, like the shrinkage hit. So I think it's gonna get even smaller than this, which sucks, cause who likes to look like a bald head bitch? Not I. But okay, with that being said guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're watching, comment, like, subscribe if you wanna. Be sure to share them free because this is how these things grow. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Thank you guys for the new subscribers. I'm so excited. And I'm just really excited about my channel again. And I haven't been for a very long time. So it's nice to, like, kind of come back and feel refreshed and, like, really take my channel serious again. So, yeah, I'm excited. So turn on the notification bell because that's how you'll know when I post again. Uh, I love you guys so much and I'll see you beautiful souls again soon. And remember, stay fabulous. Besitos, bye.